got Christopher to come out with us. Yes. We're out here on Coos Head. This is Benendorf State Beach today. Actually, not really, but just the mouth of the harbor. And before, I have a video showing this cave, and we couldn't get to it because this tide was high, so it's a little lower now, so we'll see what happens. The destination. We're going to see if we can go through that side, come out that side over there, and then go over top of this and make it to that one over there. Yeah. Charles, who decided to take a different route, is way up yonder. He's like going the other way, huh? Coming up on our first tide pool, and what do we spy here? Yep. That's a golf ball. <laughs> a golf ball and tide pool. Huh? We're going to have to remove that for the sake of ecology. It's not supposed to be here, right? We're looking at the mouth of the cave now. Let's see what we can find here from the... Oh, it looks like uh, something fell through. I hope it wasn't Charles. Something fell through that roof. Well, that wasn't there the last time I was here. Looks like uh, there's a tree right there. This big rock overhang ledge that makes up the roof of this cave. This goes so far. What we're looking at here is a future Oregon arch. Right on the other side of this is actually the ocean. So it's going to be kind of cool. And this all erodes away, and this opening connects to that opening, and then connects to that opening. And then we'll probably start working on this little hole over here. See where it ends up. Right now it's just a dead end. But pretty cool. I don't know if my camera's actually picking it up, but this is that dark hole on the other side that I was showing you. And now we're starting to see there's some daylight up there coming from somewhere. And that's sand up in there. So it's already all starting to erode. So exploring this seabed here, I found these, these fossils. It's pretty cool. Right in the rock here. Let's see if we can get them on the camera. Whatever kind of rock that is. This shell's just imprinted on it. This came out really clean. It's almost like man put them there. Just natural. That would be neat. One point there, right there. Uh, you can go a little farther, but interesting thing is... If it was a little bit lower or you want to get a little wet right now, you could. Tide's coming in, folks. Tide's coming in. Supposed to be in at 5.30. It's only about 3 o'clock right now, but... There's the coming in. I wanted to make it over there so I could go along the edge again, but... I'm going to have to come back here in the summertime and just get wet. Let's see if we can get this uh, title series on film here. See how it all goes away. I just get sucked out. It's like it kind of splashes and teases a little bit. And all of a sudden, all this is just the underwater. You think you'd be okay, you watch the stream come in, so you decide to okay, we'll climb down right here, I'm gonna go down over here, and you pull across, and look, I'm gonna go out. And I could probably make it. By the time around, like right now, if I hold butt along the edge right there, Keep my footing, keep my footing. You know, right there would be kind of tricky. If I jumped onto that and went up, I could make it out. But then by the time I did all that, if I was lucky enough, the water wouldn't be back in here. But you guys just saw when I started filming, this entire thing was full of water. 
and uh, it'll fill back up again. And by an hour from now or two hours from now, I won't be able to get back to where I'm standing right now. Right here, these are fossils of the clams. I'm assuming they're clams or mussels or something. So Some you can see the fossil. shell, and you see the fossilized inside, they turn to stone. Well, this one's a really good example of it. Well, I found one of those outside. See the back of the shell be right there, opens and closes. Huh. But there's a dead dog right there, so I'm done. I'm done. Dead dog? Yeah, there's a dead dog in a jacket and shit. Aww. Poor baby dogs. Look at these snails. Alright, so we've been here, what, 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay, see the rocks right there that just got hit by the water? Yeah. When we first got here, I stood on that rock right there, the biggest one, and right in front of it's a golf ball in the water. And now the, the water's like engulfed. It's totally dry over there. So that kind of gives us an idea on uh, how quickly the tide is actually coming in. We're okay though, because we just need to go to right there. There's a seawall. So it's not like we're in danger, especially since we're paying attention. The key is to pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. Just like the teachers told you in school, pay attention. Pay attention to your surroundings. Or the elusive black cave as we're going to know it as. One of these days, I'll come back here when the time arrives. See what's in there. And hopefully we'll make it all the way over that side. See if that's the cave. Yeah. Anyway. Another day. Here's the mouth of the river. Coos River. Going out to the ocean. Bay. There is some decent surf out today. Now, talk about a waste of manpower. There's a dude from the Coast Guard, U.S. Coast Guard, sits in here and he watches that front of that bay in all weather. Now, don't know why that can't be just a regular civilian person because he doesn't come out of that thing when something happens. He just says, hey, this is what's going down. But man, what a tough job, huh? Sit there all day, looking out at this. Dang. Over here next to the left car tower, you got a really cool view. Oh, the ocean over here. But you got the jetty. And if you look well beyond this little mole here, way out there you see there's a lighthouse. We're gonna end this fine day. We're gonna end this fine day with meat. Yes, meat. Lots and lots of meat. Mmm. Meat. Still just a little backyard bonfire. I'm gonna have it in our fire pit right here. Sorry about the poor light, but. Still got to keep my cowboy skills in line there, so I've prepared my shavings, a couple of fire feathers there, smaller material, and I work my way up to the wood pile over there. Check back you when it's lighting.
Yep, cowboy skills are still working. <coughs> Quick light. This is the tree that we cut down in the front yard that's dead. Actually, we just cut a couple limbs off, but if this wood burns really nice, we're going to cut more of it up. Nice way to end it someday. Signing out for a Sunday. The boys and I just sitting around, enjoying a bonfire. <coughs> nice and quiet night in the backyard. Hope more American families are doing this. You know, you might not say much, but it's just the fact that you're all together and just sitting here relaxing. Maybe you look at stuff on your phones together, maybe you just do whatever, but you know, it's about spending time with one another and that's important. So God bless you all. Take care.